Hi students, let us continue with the building blocks of UML. So in the previous video, I explained about one of the building block that is the things. Now coming to the next building block that is the relationships. So after that, you are, you'll, we'll discuss about the diagrams. So actually I said UML building blocks are things, relationships and diagrams. So things again divide into structural, behavioral, grouping and notational. Now let us see the relationships. The second building block is relationships. In the relationships, there are four kinds of relationships will be present in UML. One is dependency, association, generalization and realization. So total four uh, kinds of relationships will be present in unified modeling language. Dependency. What is this symbol for dependency is dotted arrow. Okay. Dotted lines with indication. It's change of things may affect uh, one change of thing may affect the another because there is a dependence relationship if a changing means there is an effect in the b also because a is dependent on b that is a dependence relationship association association indicates a solid line it represents a structural relationship that describes a set of links a link being a connection among ob objects so this link is going to be connected between the objects so it contains multiple cities and names. So here 0 or 1 employer and many employee. Just association between the objects. It shows only the structural relationship. And the next relationship is a generalization. A generalization or a specialization relationship in which objects of the specialized element that is a child Specialized element means always child, special thing. Specialized element, the child, are substitutable for objects of generalized element of the parent. This is a generalization. Here it is a specialization element. So here, the generalization meaning means in which uh, objects of specialized element, that is a child, will be substituted for the objects of the generalized element. So that's why we represented like this. This is a symbol for generalization. So here uh, you will get a child that is a specialization and generalization. Child, parent. Arrow pointing towards the parent. So this is the three relationships and the remaining one is the fourth one is the realization. Realization means a semantic relationship between the classifiers wherein one classifier specifies a contract that another classifiers guarantee to carry out. Realization, they, is, they were reali realizing on that object wherein one classifier specifies a contract that another classifier guarantees to carry out that another has to be compulsory carry out that contract. So this is a symbol for realization, a dotted line with general symbol that is a realization so here i am just showing a simple example how those relationships will be communicating connecting uh, different classes like that so this is a class diagram means a class it's not a complete class diagram a class a class consists of name window open close handle event move and here this window class is dependent on event class okay and this window is a base class that is a parent class and the console window and dialog box are the child classes so they will be connected by using generalization symbol so this is a generalization a console window is a, here is a object substituted here in this parent class and the dialog box is also substituted in the parent class Okay, so with the help of this generalization symbol and this dialog box is associated with control association symbol and this is the dependency symbol. Okay, and here the user uh, validate user is uh, validation is realized on the validate user. So this is the realization symbol. The validation is always realized on the validate user. So this is an action that we are doing. So that's why it is represented in use case. And this is a dotted lines uh, oval shape indicates a collaboration. Collaboration showing the interaction. 
it is going to validate the user a code will be there the validation code will be there with the help of this code we are validating the user it is doing some action so that's why it is this validation is realization realized on validate user and here person works for company so this is an association a person works for company so this is a work for is a name and this uh, direction shows the a person is only work for company indicating the direction so this is about the uh, relationships uh, one of the building blocks of uml and the remaining building block of uml is the diagrams so that we discuss in the next video thank you